Hi, my name is Bob Lindy. Today I'm going to talk to you about homemade bug sprays for vegetable plants. So there's a number of different reasons why we may not want to use one of the more toxic types of bug repellents or bug killers that you can find in your local garden store and try to utilize some things that are a little bit more natural and aren't going to be toxic and you don't have to worry about rinsing your vegetables off quite so much when you're ready to harvest your, your crops. So some of the plants that you may already have in your garden are things like lemongrass, geranium, and marigolds. And if you're really lucky, you might even have some garlic laying around inside your garden. I usually go ahead and try to find what I've got laying around that's local to my area that may have a very strong scent or actually some sort of an irritant in the plant. What I'll oftentimes do is I'll go ahead and take those plants, chop them up a little bit, and go ahead and let them soak for one or two days before I put them into a spray bottle and go ahead and treat all of my plants with that. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and start spraying your plants, but it's important not to leave any of that product on there because oftentimes, even though those are natural products, they can be very toxic to the plant and either clog up their pores that they need for good respiration, or sometimes things like cayenne pepper or garlic may actually even burn your plants. So it's a good idea to go ahead and apply whatever you, combination of plants you come up with to your plants in the evening so that the hot sun doesn't cook those plants. And then in the morning or later in that day, go ahead and rinse those off while you're watering to ensure that you don't have a problem. And you can go ahead and apply that whenever possible. But oftentimes, before we even go to the, have to resort to something as serious as spraying on a toxic plant substance onto your plants, you may want to just make sure that your plants are healthy and that you can sometimes just use a hose to spray off things like aphids or mites. And a lot of times there's a small concentration in the colony that we can go ahead, spray those off, and that will allow the plant to regenerate a little bit and get its own defenses up to ensure that they don't have a problem. So let's go ahead and we're gonna put some of those nice aromatic ingredients, a little bit of garlic, and I like to put just a few drops of dish soap in and a few drops of cooking oil into my mix let those sit overnight, strain those off, and go ahead and put those into a spray bottle and spot treat any of the really badly infested plants that may have anything from aphids to mites or any number of other types of pests that may be coming after your vegetables that you want to eat for yourself. So this is Bob Lindy talking to you about homemade natural remedies that you can do to get rid of the bugs on your vegetables.